Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cop Tool, the authority on power tools. My name is Aaron and I am here with a very special guest today. This is Rob from Rigid and he's going to give us the lowdown on a couple of very cool new products. So Rob, uh, dive in and give us the skinny here. Well, thanks again for having me today. You bet. Today we brought the RP241 and the RP240. These are brand new compact 24 kilonewton press tools. Uh, they've been out now just, uh, just a couple months into the market. So really brand, some brand new stuff from Rigid. This is the RP240. It's a pistol grip style tool. And this is the RP241, which is the inline style. And really it's just a matter of preference for the user. They both have the same capabilities, the same capacities between the, between the two tools. Each of them uh, use the uh, Rigid 24 kilonewton jaws. Yeah. And you can see here, you can just quickly swap between jaws to change sizes or systems. They work on multiple, uh, multiple different systems including copper up to inch and a quarter. You can, do, you can now press black steel pipe with these tools mm -hmm. up to three quarters of an inch. You can do PEX systems, both the ASTM F1807 as well as the Vega Pure Flow systems up to inch and a half. And um, as well, you can, you can press uh, stainless steel tube as well up yeah. to uh, inch and a quarter. Very versatile. Obviously. Yeah, so lots of yeah. different applications yeah. for the tools. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it makes the investment in the tool something that you can spread across uh, lots of different types of jobs. Yeah, and so 12 volt, battery here, talk about the power and the longevity, you know, how many presses you get. Absolutely, yeah, so it runs on the rigid 12 volt battery system. Uh, the tools get about 140 presses per charge, which typically is enough to get a contractor through a full day's work. Um, but if not, obviously it, it, you can, it comes with two batteries and you can so switch you, it and switch one it out quickly. One, yeah. It's also about two and a half times our competition. So you get a nice long run time with this battery on, on these tools. Awesome. Um, in addition, there's some additional features here as well. The, the head will swivel on the tool, which helps you access tighter spaces. Um, there is a uh, bolt sensor here. So you'll see that the tool has a red light on it here if the bolt's not fully it's inserted. It's not engaged, yeah. So that way the contractor can't run the tool if it's not set up and ready to run. What other kind of sensors we got here to help us? So there's also sensors in the tool that will give you a green light when it's done a proper cycle. So you know that the tool is functioning fully, properly. Fully pressed. Yep. And as well, there's some indicators here when the jaw, uh, sorry, when the tool is getting ready for service. So these tools will run 32,000 cycles until they need service. At, two, at 2,000 cycles to go, the yellow light will start flashing to warn you that it is due for service Time. soon. Yeah. So it's much like a car where it needs an oil change periodically. Right. Check engine. Exactly. Yeah. And that guarantees that the tool is always functioning properly and it's always going to make a good press so that you can use it confidently on the job site. Great. So you mentioned that these are basically the same tool with a different ergonomic design. What is the difference between these and the previous models? Well, these are significantly smaller and lighter than, than the prior versions. Um, this tool is actually about 15% uh, lighter, 10% smaller than the prior version. And this one is 25% smaller and about 10% lighter than, than the previous inline tool that we had. So significantly smaller, lighter tools. It, it really helps when contractors are trying to get into tight access areas. The tools, the smaller the tool is, the more areas you can reach. Once a contractor is pressing on the job, they want to press everything that they can. And so having the small light tools enables you to get into yeah. those tight to reach. And if you're reaching tools. over your head or into an area that's hard to reach, it does make a difference. Absolutely. Especially when you've got 25, 30 in a row that you're doing. Well, right, there's, there's yeah. the factor of you're holding the tool all day long. And so there's just the fatigue factor that's less from it being lighter. Yeah. And then, Every job site, there's many pipes, there's lots of obstructions, there's lots of things in the way. So having the smaller tools enables you to, to work around those items and get into those hard to reach spots. It's great, really cool. So it has an app that goes with it, with some control functions and Yeah, so let me tell you about the, the Rigid Link app. So you can connect this via Bluetooth to your phone or other personal device. So it has a lot of different functions. So once you get the tool connected to your phone, uh, you'll be able to see. Oh, it, here. look! It just as soon as you hit it, that LED came on, and boom, it was there. So right, so that gives you really the signal easy. that you're connected. Yep. You know which yep. tool you're connected with, and then you can see how many cycles are on the tool. So this is a new tool; has just 86 cycles on it, and then how many cycles until the next service? And you can see, you know, several thousand. Thirty-one thousand. Yeah, right. Okay. So, so got ways time. to go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Um, then you get a report here that will show you the usage over the last 30 days, so you can see the date and timestamp of each of the each of the connections. Uh, and then it gives you the location of the nearest Rigid Factory Service Center in case you need to contact them for any parts or in, in the uh, occasion that you do need service. And then there's also support documents that are available. Catalog sheets, owner's manual, those types of devices. 
Um, and then if we disconnect the tool from the phone, it will actually show you a map of where the tool was last used, which is very useful if the tool is left on a job site or um, you don't know which, well, you can't remember exactly which crew used it last, you can check on your phone to see where that tool was last used. Well, these tools are available right now, and of course, that is only half the story. For the rest of the story, head over to coptool.com. And special thanks to Rob from Rigid. We're going to have a bunch more videos from Rigid coming up, so make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And we'll see you in the next video.